name is Jeannie and this is my podcast Dreams to Reality. So the topic for today would be um, about Maxwell Maltz's book. So I listened to this audio book a few, maybe a year ago or I, I'm sure it was pre-corona. So I'm sure it was more than a year ago. And um, it was suggested by one of the coaches or I, I don't know where suggestion and then the uh, book came up again um, so my friend um, who I interviewed like a couple episodes ago he actually also recommended this book and then it came up again uh, and it was suggested by a coach that I'm working with um, so I decided to just finish it it's like the audiobook uh, when I listened to the first hour or so I was just you know the language uh, the book was uh, Maxwell Maltz book uh, was published in 1960 it's called Psycho Cybernetics so it was actually so the language was kind of arcane if you can call it that so it was our old language and um, it wasn't like good to listen to like it was really boring uh, but then you know I gave it a go and there's actually been new incarnations of the book so there's new editions of the book so they call it the new psycho cybernetics so it's better they actually edited it and made it more current and so the information flowed better you know you get to the point much faster so Maxwell Marx he medic surgeon and he was uh, a doctor a medical doctor and he realized that his patients um, he had two kinds of patients there were patients that after the uh, they had cosmetic surgery they felt like they would be successful and they would just like have a good and great life after surgery I think um, it was mentioned that he had a criminal as a patient and what happened was that after the surgery the, that patient's life just took off and for the better and, but he had a lot of patients that unfortunately even if they had s- multiple surgeries they still felt ugly they still felt like the same way so he realized that it wasn't the surgery in itself you know that was making things work or happen it was actually their self-image so self-image ties so much to and if you're familiar with how the subconscious mind works it ties down to all our beliefs so if you really want to create lasting change and that's his premise and actually that's also the premise of my book um, dreams to reality so i also mentioned it briefly about like self-image because it's all of those self-image is actually important you have to embody the person that you want to be in order to be successful so Maxwell Maltz discovered that self-image is the thing that really holds you back and even if because our self-image is actually contains all of our beliefs about ourselves so that's the thing about subconscious work is you can work on changing your beliefs but if you don't change your self-image which is actually a multitude of self-limiting beliefs if you don't work on it you will not achieve uh, success so he discovered that when you change your self-image when you change your mental image of yourself you will actually become more successful so in his book he he touts the use of imagination so imagining yourself as the person that you that's successful already and that already the person that already has the things that you desire in life and um he he talks about like his um he calls it the theater of the mind and that is it's a technique what and if you're uh, familiar with my four keys uh, um, 
clarity, clearing, subconscious, reprogramming, and aligned action. So if you're familiar with that, so the theater of the mind falls under subconscious reprogramming and aligned action. So it's sort of in that in that sphere. Um, so he talked about using your subconscious mind, using imagination to imagine yourself as a different version of you, the version of you that already has the things that you want to possess. And he uses this theater of the mind visualization. And um, I will send a link to the book because it's a really great book and it's a must read because it really talks about how our subconscious mind responds to it, really responds in images. And so visualization, uh, according to Maxwell Maltz, is key. So Maxwell Maltz is considered as the uh, father of modern self-help. Um, but actually there's others like him who discovered about visualization already and subconscious reprogram. One of them was Charles F. Hunnell. Uh, he also has a book about mental imaging and there's Neville Goddard there's a bunch of them um, and they came up with these ideas well before him sometimes uh, I think they were even in the early 1900s so and even before that you know the Buddhists um, they've used um, visualization like meditation you know um, they've used that as well and that's like 2,000 years so we, we know that this reality that we have, it starts with a thought. It starts in our head. It starts in imagination. I remember a few years ago, a few years back, I was able to go to Kitty Hawk, um, North Carolina, and that was where the Wright brothers actually developed the uh, first flying machine it was like they were bicycle makers and they envisioned see vision they envisioned that they would create a flying machine which is now the reason why we have planes because they discovered flight um, and I'm sure other people before them might have also discovered that well we don't know this is just the uh, current history but man's imagination can create things from the mind into this reality. Uh, but the thing is, there's um, a lot of techniques that you can use uh, in order for your imagination to come to life. So uh, Maxwell Martz, uh, Maltz actually talks about the uh, subconscious mind as a goal-setting machine, as a servile mechanism. Um, basically, whatever you impose on it, it's just going to have to it has to do it because the uh, subconscious mind doesn't know reality from fiction. So if you just keep on repeating the mental images, uh, in depends on how often you do it. And it also depends if you have resistances or anything like that. It will really come to life. It will come to life in this reality. That's the principle of how the subconscious mind works. Um, but again, it's it's more, there's a lot of nuances and there's a lot of things that, you know, there's more to it than that, of course. And that's why I talk about clarity and clearing. Clearing, most especially, is that clearing all of the uh, negative programming that you have. That's an essential tool as well. That's why I came up with the four keys um, because it's not just subconscious reprogramming. It's literally all of these tools or all of these keys work hand in hand. So I really do suggest that you read the book. It's really amazing. And I have links below. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. Um, it's just amazing that so many people have already discovered, uh, I mean, decades ago, um, the power of the subconscious mind, how powerful it is, that it literally does create things that from our imagination to reality. And uh, 
hope you enjoyed this short uh, review of the book and do check it out, Maxwell Maltz, uh, Psycho-Cybernetics. Thank you for listening.